Now, for more on this story, Salma Ashraf joins us now. She is a Turkey-based legal researcher on Egypt and head of Human Rights Monitor in Egypt. Uh, Salma, thank you so much for joining us here on TRT World. Now, I believe you have contacted the UN rapporteur on torture and they're following the case. Briefly, what is the latest, Salma? Well, unfortunately, the families are living a terrifying situation where they don't know anything about their husbands. Uh, all the wives that I have spoken to, they have no idea where their husbands are or what the charges that are uh, that they are facing. They're all worried that uh, should they be deported to Egypt, they will be definitely tortured because deportation in itself in Egypt is such a crime, and uh, they would definitely be tortured and. Uh, um, and pr probably disappeared as they are now disappeared. And this is a, a very big crime uh, uh, committed by the Malaysians and the Thai uh, authorities as well as the Egyptians. There is a kind of collaboration against human rights. And uh, the, we consider the men as uh, in, under enforced disappearance. We don't know anything about them. Mm -hmm. We have contacted the, uh, the head of the airport and he said that they have been deported, six men have been deported to Egypt on the 6th of March. Uh, however, the wife of one of them, um, Mrs. Judy, she's in, in Bangkok now, and she says that she has information that they are actually still in there, but she cannot reach them. Uh, we have contacted the UNCHR, and they are also following the case, and okay. we hope that the men are actually still in there. And, and Salma, do you know why Malaysia deported the men and is this legal? They actually didn't reveal any accounts on this. They just said that uh, their uh, residency permit uh, has stopped. They stopped it for security reasons. We don't know what the security reasons are, but we just assume that there is some kind of collaboration between the Malaysian authorities and the Egyptian ones. Okay. And do you know, Sama, what exactly did the four men allegedly say against President Sisi? No. Uh, I mean, I contacted their wives. They said that they did not do anything. They are not political, but some of them, they have, uh, uh, they have sentences uh, issued against them, 15 years and so on, in military cases. But uh, they don't know what the charges are or, or how they got involved in these cases. As you know, most of the people who have uh, left Egypt, they have left because the, uh, the country now is a police state. And for, this reason, and for this reason, people are not feeling secure at all. And uh, this is why we're fearing so much that the, the deportation of the men is endangering their life. Also, we need to note that this is all happening in such a short time. In Turkey, one uh, Egyptian was deported in February, and now there are um, uh, six people being deported from uh, from uh, Malaysia. And also yesterday, there was one being deported from Korea to uh, Italy. Uh, but uh, we were we managed to keep him inside Italy, and he is now seeking refugee. So not just uh, from Malaysia. Salma, thank you so much for giving us those details. Um, that was Salma Ashraf, a Turkey-based legal researcher on Egypt and head of Human Rights Monitor Egypt. Thank you.